Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Waves from Slider here. In this video, let me show you guys how to create one of those fancy list views that people do inside navigation drawers all the time. So for the purpose of demonstration, what I'm gonna do is try to create a simple navigation drawer that has YouTube, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Pinterest along with their icons inside the navigation drawer. So for the icons, I have taken some images over here for inside the drawable folder if you notice there are five different images now ideally I should be taking different images for HDPI, MDPI and so on but here in this case just to keep things simple and straightforward I've just kept images of 48 by 48 inside my drawable folder and have forgotten the whole aspect of scaling images for different screen sizes so now what we need to do is create a custom layout that's gonna show exactly how one single row of our navigation drawers list view is gonna look like so go here to res layout oops there's a simpler option over here at the top new android xml file so here you can say custom row dot xml and it is asking you whether you want a linear layout or what let's just keep it a linear layout for now just click next and click finish over here so if you go to the custom row here the orientation is vertical what I want is the orientation as horizontal and now what I need inside this is an image view and a text view so let me go back to the graphical layout go to images and media just drag the image view here on the left and it's gonna ask you some icon for now we can just put something here let's say Facebook here and then near that I wanna put the text view by going here to text large have the text view stretch all the way to the end of the screen and all the way oops, the bottom okay so that's how each every single row is gonna look like now of course we can add some margins here you can also add some gravity here by saying Android gravity is center that's gonna make this come right in between compared to this image and that's how every one single row inside our navigation drawer will look like now that this is customized let's just remove this Android text let's just remove the Android source because we're gonna put them at runtime so go back inside our main activity now if you notice here it says list dot set adapter blah 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 but we're not gonna use that what we are gonna do is create our own adapter for that we're gonna remove this statement for now let's just uncomment uh, comment this statement out over here just go down here create a class at the bottom let's say class my adapter this class is gonna extend base adapter so let's keep this class outside this main activity here now this is gonna give an error because my adapter needs to override certain methods I'm gonna say add unimplemented methods here and as you guys notice it says get count get item get item ID get view and so on so this my adapter class is responsible for fetching the data from our string array so where is our string array it's the planets of position now let me change the planet stuff into something more meaningful by going back to strings.xml so now if you see the string array I have called it social instead of planets and I put Facebook Twitter YouTube Google Plus and P interest inside this and so inside the main activity again here I have the string array of planet but I'm gonna remove that from our class over here and I'm gonna remove this complete statement here that's gonna require a lot of changes everywhere in the code but then I don't mind, really mind about it so just remove this remove the planets of position and keep our adapter here this is the place where I'll declare the array by saying string social sites kind of stuff now inside I'm gonna have to make a constructor let's say my adapter here it's gonna take a context argument because I'm gonna use this context to get resources and then initialize this social sites array so I'm gonna say social sites equals to context dot get resources dot get string array r dot array dot social so this is how I initialize the array now the next thing that I need is the integer array containing all these images that is Facebook Google Plus Twitter and so on so let's make sure we put those images here and now we, we want to make sure that the order of the elements inside the social site is the same as the order of the images so if you go here Facebook comes first Twitter comes second YouTube comes third so let's follow the same order here by saying our drawable dot I see Facebook let me add the other images 
So at this point I have the images array declared over here and I have the string array which was declared and later initialized inside our constructor. If you guys want we can go ahead and do the initialization of the images inside this as well. But let's just stick to this. So get count. Now get count should return the number of elements that is present inside our string array. So here we know it very well. It's going to be social sites dot length. That is going to be the number of elements that can be counted from our array. Now get item should return the particular text at a given position. So in our case, we can go here, we can say social sites of position. So in other words, if you say give me the element at position 0, then the element at position number 0 is nothing but Facebook and that's exactly what we want. Now get item ID, we don't need this usually, I have talked about this in my list view video, so I'm going to put position over here. Now get view is where we get to perform all our work. So we're going to check first if the convert view equals null, otherwise we're going to do something else. So if the convert view is null, it means that we are creating this particular row for the first time. Now I have discussed about all of these things in my videos on list view, the optimization tips out there for the list view and so on. So if you guys haven't seen those, please go back in my playlist and search for the list view optimization videos where I've talked about this. So if you're creating stuff for the first time, you need the layout inflator inflator. Now this can be gotten through context. So I'm going to save the context here inside my reference by saying private context context over here. So I can simply save that reference by saying this dot context equals to context. So I'm going to go down use that context object I'm going to say context dot get system service context dot layout inflator service and that takes care of getting the layout inflator for me of course perform the type casting in this case and we're good to go so using the inflator what you want to do is blow up this custom row that we just created which is in XML what we want to do is convert this into a Java object so I'm going to say inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot custom row and the root should be parent and null. Now again I've talked about layout inflators in my video if you guys aren't sure what the layout inflator does and what this is all about please check the playlist I've talked about everything there is so so outside I go here and I simply make say something like view row equals to null row should be this inflated XML object which has been converted into a Java object otherwise row is simply convert view if convert view is not null. Now what you want to do is you're going to simply say row dot find view by ID. Now we want to set the appropriate images and the appropriate text for a given position. As you guys see this get view method gets called for every single item inside the list view. So at zeroth position we want Facebook text and the Facebook icon to be loaded. And that can be done by going here in the custom row giving both of them the IDs as image view 1 and text view 1. So let's remember that IDs and bring them here. So go back to our main activity Java here. I'm going to use that row here and say row dot find view by ID r dot ID dot text view 1. This is the title that we require. So I'm going to say text view text view 1 equals to something like that or I can say title text view to better avoid confusion so I can say title text view here again import the text view same way I need to first type cast this and then the same way I want to bring the image view here by saying image view title image view equals to the same stuff so for every row as the get view method gets called I'm supplied with the position say 0 1 2 3 I've also found the text view from this XML file which is our custom row that you see here actually you so don't see anything here and and I also got a reference the image view which is our custom title icon that we want now we want to just set the value so the title text view should be dot set text it should be the social sites for a given position. So in other words, position 0, title text view should contain Facebook, position 1, it should contain Twitter and so on. Same way, the title image view should contain the appropriate images over here. So I'm going to say images of position here as well. And what I want to return is that row over here. So that takes care of our complete stuff here. Now I just want to go up inside 
our part where we set the adapter remove the comments here and we can make our adapter by going up and you can say private my adapter my adapter over here and just initialize the my adapter with the appropriate co constructor so I'm gonna say my adapter is new my adapter pass this inside the context so list view dot set adapter it's gonna be my adapter over here and that's all you need to do to set a custom list view so at this point let's run this and see how this so at this point our app is up and running if you click here at the top what's gonna happen is our pop thing pops up and there you go bam that's working with our custom icons that we just set so in other words we had the list view that was rendered through an adapter we used a custom layout Facebook isn't responding okay it's one of my apps crashed on the phone great Facebook itself crashed so what we have is the list view being drawn here with our custom row that defines the appearance of a single row now inside the my adapter class which actually extends base adapter what we have very important is the get view method which is called each time a single row needs to be drawn there you're supplied the position of the row you're supposed to use this position set up a title text view and an image view and initialize the appropriate values from the arrays that you're declared right above and that's how the whole thing works about creating a custom layout so hopefully this is just the beginning for you guys of experimenting with the custom list views and creating fancy looking navigation drawers in your apps in the next video let's further dig and see what we can come up with in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day